everybody to know who I talked to this morning. It was a fun walk this morning. It was, it was really surprised. It was really shocking, but it was fun. I wasn't expecting. Well, you know, because the way this connection is, I wasn't expecting pathos. Like what? Because I was like, I started talking. Okay, Richard, how? Never mind. I don't know if this is happening past, past, future, don't care. So I'm talking to Richard and I'm talking to this other science guy. I'll find out what your freaking name is. <laughs> well, even Einstein, even Einstein, well, even Jeeves. <laughs> well, Ralph once said. <laughs> well, Richard once said. And, and, and talk. And, and what did Pascal say? And what does Pascal say about that? <laughs> what does, we'll be like Stuart on freaking Mad TV. <laughs> what does mom say about that? Mom says, no, get away, stop. So Michael McDonald used to crack me up on that. <laughs> like, <with> Stuart, <laughs> don't suck that gorilla's teeth. You stop sucking that gorilla's teeth. <laughs> no, go away, stop. <laughs> he used to crack my ass up, man. And did you ever see that one, the other girl, the blonde? She was, she was, <laughs> she was, she was funny. The one where they sit there and then they start saying, literally, literally. It literally has more traffic than Madonna's vagina. Literally, literally. <laughs> and they just, sorry, Madonna. They, they said it. It was Michael McDonald and that other cute blonde chick on, on Mad TV. Yeah, there was that. And then there was that other one that she did the one with it. Jesus did it. That she used to crack me up, man. She was so funny. It wasn't me. It was Jesus. Jesus did it. He <laughs> Jesus, it was Jesus' fault. Jesus did it. <laughs> that's you guys. That's all you atheist people. Jesus did it. Jesus did it. It was my fault. Jesus did it. Blame it on Jesus. It's Jesus' fault. Jesus is the reason why we had Hitler. Jesus is the reason. Well, if you look at him being most like Adam and he loved Eve, I guess they could blame it on Jesus. <laughs> but what about you? Don't you have any aspect of self-control? No, all those Christians blame everything on either the devil or God or Jesus is going to take care of it. Now, how do you feel? Jesus did it. Religion did it. All those religious people did it. We had nothing to do with it. No, we don't help build bombs, false or irrational value markets. We don't help pollute the air. We don't have to. America's power is in its innovative and our builders and all that. All our greatness comes from America's industry and destruction of planet, destruction of self. And we created the nuclear weapon. We're really smart. I know that's what happened when I left the house. I'm like, yeah, it was really smart. My ex-wife always used to get it. He's smart. He's a nuclear scientist. There's no such thing as a nuclear scientist. It's just a, oops. Yeah, no, Jesus was not a, oops, that shouldn't happen. That was a mistake. Oh, no, he wasn't the Messiah. He was the Messiah. He was supposed to happen. He's a God-given life, given birth by a woman. That's supposed to happen. That's the way it is. The nuclear weapon was a, oops. That was a mistake. We shouldn't have done that. Do the math. Do the math. Do the math. Oops. He did it again. We fucked up and then tried to blame us on bad, on Jesus and Adam. Our only mistake. Our only mistake is in being human and thinking we can play God. I should have done better. Taking the guilt, like my mom said, you ain't God, you don't know what to do yourself to feel guilty. Okay? Your kids have a choice, and they choose wrong. I, we'll play it again today, son. I had a choice, and I chose wrong. I made a promise, girl, to leave it alone. You gave me trust. I threw it away, Jesus, please. Jesus, please listen to me, holding hands, walking through the park, sweet memories are torn apart. I, I made a promise I did not keep, we fooled around, oh, Haley, we made you weak, Mohammed, please, Jesus, please, Haley Selassie, please, Saladin, please. <laughs> Krishna, Judah, Krishna, Murdy, please. We didn't listen to you. We were weak. You gave us trust. We threw it away, Ralphie. Please, it's, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Just stop screwing around on me. Stop betraying me. Stop trying to blame everything on us. It was Jesus's fault. Jesus's fault. We had nuclear weapons and blew each other up. It's, it's religion's fault that you guys had the Industrial Revolution, treated everybody like shit and like capitalism take over and treat everybody like crap, and then you had to have somebody like Marx as a reaction for a bloody proletariat to come in and kill everybody. It was Jesus' fault. <laughs> yes, religion is an opiate for the masses. Do the math on this shit, guys. Come on, man. <laughs>
Ralph is a teaching, he is a preaching. We all love Ralph, and Ralph loves us. That's why we love Ralph, is because Ralph loves us. We love Ralph because Ralph loves us. We love Jesus because Jesus loves us. We love Muhammad because Muhammad loves us. We love Haley Selassie because Haley Selassie loves us. We love Bob Marley because Bob Marley loves us. Who's our musical messenger? Who's our musical messenger? One love, one heart. Let's get together and feel all right as it was in the beginning. So shall it be in the end. Give thanks and praise to the Lord, and I will feel all right. Let's get together and feel all right. Huh? What? Oh, pirates, yes, they rob I. So lie to the merchant ships. Minutes after they took I from the bottomless pit. <laughs> but my hand was made strong by the end of the Almighty. And I know, because I felt it in spiritual revelation and in prayer, that he helped. He helped the Spirit through. He helped. He did his part. And his place in the book, and we're fulfilling the book, is a beautiful place in the book. I love Baha, and that's the Robert Marley. I really do. I love his children, I love his family, and I love his friends. <laughs> and I love his prophet Messiah, because he's my prophet Messiah. Haley Selassie is. And Haley Selassie says that Muhammad is his prophet Messiah, and I believe him. And Haley Selassie says that Jesus is his prophet Messiah, and I believe him. <laughs> and they tell me that I am a, like the prophets and the Messiah, that I'm the Redeemer, and I believe them. <laughs> You think I'm either a liar, lunatic, or lord? I really don't care what you think. You want to destroy your planet. You want to keep crystallizing. You want to keep hating. You want to keep destroying. You want to keep blowing. You listen to a drug addict who has organized drug dealers, who preaches hate, sucks cigars, has horrible health, he's totally stressed out, hates life, and doesn't even believe in Jesus. No, he doesn't. Rush Limbaugh doesn't believe in Jesus. He doesn't behave in Jesus as even exist in any way. That man doesn't, he just sucks up to you. He thinks you're a bunch of religious fanatic psychopaths who don't understand a damn thing. Bill O'Reilly and the rest of those guys are all the same way. They all sit around and kind of joke with Bill Maher about this shit. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> it's fucking crazy religious loons. They're like that dude on the freaking that movie 2012. <laughs> who knew all the religious fanatics were right? <laughs> yeah, they're all like that. <laughs> it's all about science. <laughs> Science and technology have helped put us in the position that we're in that everything is fucked up. It's also going to help us save ourselves from ourselves from everything being fucked up. Don't take too much pride in your science and technology because your science and technology really help take fuck things up. Do the math. Do the math. Do the fucking math. When you see an example and a beautiful man like Jesus, like Haley Selassie, like Bob Marley, like Willem Wallace, like Judy Krishnamurti, and a woman like Harriet Tubman, like Mother Teresa, like Di wanted to be, like Selena was trying to be, like other people alive and today. I don't want to talk about that. Okay, I got time. Shit. Okay, Jennifer Lynn Lopez, I really think you're cool in any kind of spiritual connection I've ever had with you. I would like to get to know you better sometime and, and maybe hang out sometime in the, in the not too distant but near future and everything like that. I think your kids are cool. I think your dad and mom are extremely cool. I don't think I'm making this shit up. I think it's very real because all the rest of the stuff I have, the way it really plays out mathematically and stuff like that. If you got a boyfriend, I understand. I don't need to hang out with you that bad. We can just hang out and talk, go to Burger King, take a walk, eat a salad or something like that. It's not like that. It's so you understand. <laughs> so, okay, okay, cool. I get it, okay? Maybe not this lifetime, maybe the next. Who knows? But whatever. But you're very cool, and I like you very much. And I'm sorry if I've ever hurt your feelings really bad or made you feel really uncomfortable or something like that. <laughs> but you got to understand, I'm the Messiah. People treat me like shit, and you guys connect and shit, and you pray and all this stuff, and you don't believe in anything. And then when something really real comes along, you're like, he's just fucking crazy. I'm not fucking crazy. You are. And I pointed it out, and you're like, you're mean. I'm not mean. And then you said things that was true. Tim Curry's right. You kiss your mama with that mouth. You cuss. <laughs> you do too. You do too. You do too. You cuss. I've been cussed out by you. <laughs> now I'm just making it up. Okay, if I'm just making it up, the woman cusses. She cusses, Lupe. She does. She watches Chappelle's show. She does. <laughs> she likes it. <laughs> Dave is freaking hilarious, Mom. You gotta watch it. My mom did that thing with the whole thing with Joe Piscopo. <laughs> I'm like, Mom, you can't be watching this stuff. I was 14. <laughs> Do you know how uncomfortable it is watching something that funny with that with your mom in the room and your 14-year-old adolescent boy going through adolescence? 
That's just not fun. It was extraordinarily uncomfortable. Yeah, it was. Life is cool. We gotta learn to be more comfortable, but we gotta have dignity, respect, and respect for our mothers and our fathers and our children. And so Lupe's right. We gotta watch what we do and say, and we have to have good manners because the Prophet Muhammad said so. Because the Prophet Muhammad said so, and she believes it because she believes in God and she believes in him because he believes in God. All right, blessings and peace, guys. I gotta go. Love you very much. We'll see how this all works.